In this video, we take a look at the Powerbeats Pro truly wireless headphones from Beats. Should you consider these over the AirPods? Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. How's it going ladies and gents, boys and girls, Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. We are unboxing the Powerbeats Pro from Beats, which just launched recently. Still very difficult to get your hands on these things though right now at least. I ordered on day one, still have yet to receive mine, but shout out to 9to5Mac's Bradley Chambers for sending me his for review. Alright, so inside the box you see the charging case with the Powerbeats Pro inside. You also get a lightning cable, three extra pairs of ear tips included as well along with plenty of documentation to help you get started. So the Powerbeats Pro Getting Started Guide tells you how to pair, either with an iOS device or with another device like an Android phone or whatever the case may be. It also tells you how to start listening, how to adjust the ear hooks, and also how to use the buttons. And it also shows you how to charge, how to plug in the lightning cable, etc. You also get a Beats sticker included inside the box and you get some safety and handling information along with the regulatory and legal information and warranty information. All right, so let's look at the lightning cable. It's nicely packed inside. As you can see here, you also get the extra pairs of ear tips and the lightning cable that's included in the box, as you'll see right here, is black, just like the lightning cable inside the iMac Pro. Now the charging case is really the first thing that stands out about the Powerbeats Pro, especially for AirPods users or prospective AirPods users wanting to compare the two. It does have a lightning connection for charging, just like the AirPods, you have that hinge as well. There's a little flat portion on the bottom to keep it level on a desk. On the front, there's a cutout to make the case easy to open, and then below that, there's an LED status indicator that will turn orange when you're below 40% charge, which means that the battery inside the case has less than one full charge remaining for the earbuds. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the charging case, and there we are. There are the Powerbeats Pro earbuds right there, and they are just itching to be used. So, let's use them. First of all, just remove them out of the case like this, just pull up like that, and it removes just like that. Now there's a magnet inside the case similar to the AirPods that will align the charging contacts of the earbuds to the charging contacts inside the case. So you don't have to really mess around with trying to align it because the magnet helps it auto align. So that's really nice. Now that being said, you still do run into the issue like the AirPods where sometimes it's easy to put the left bud in the spot for the right bud and vice versa. It takes some getting used to, but you do eventually get used to it. Here's an up close look at the charging contacts. You also see that system button below for pairing with non iOS devices. Now you also have that lightning cable it plugs right into the lightning port. That's how you recharge the charging case, which like the AirPods provides over 24 hours of combined battery life. But again, the biggest takeaway is that compared to the AirPods charging case, the Powerbeats Pro charging case is much larger. That's why I think the AirPods remain a superior option for travelers. Now let's talk about earbud design and fit because that's where the Powerbeats Pro really starts to separate itself from the AirPods in a good way. So you saw the ear hooks which hook around the outside of your ear. You also see the ear tips which also assist with fit. Here's the charging contacts. You actually get nine hours of battery life per earbud and that's four hours more than the AirPods. You also have a multi-function button that doubles as the Beats logo right there on the side. And you also have a volume rocker on top. But what's really cool is that these buttons are found on both earbuds so you can use either your left or right hand to interact with the buttons on the Powerbeats Pro. There's also an optical sensor so it can sense when the Powerbeats are in your ears, when they've been taken out, and will play and pause accordingly. There's also a pair of beamforming microphones and an accelerometer to help filter out external noise and target a user's voice for phone calls and Siri. I don't know about you guys, but I actually think after I've used them for a while that I prefer the look of the Powerbeats Pro to the AirPods. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. Obviously, that's going to be a very subjective thing. Now, another factor to consider about the Powerbeats Pro are the replaceable ear tips, and that also helps with fit, among other things. Uh, you can see you get three pairs of replaceable ear tips along with a pair that's already pre-installed Removing the ear tips is super easy. All you do is squeeze and pull gently like this and you can remove 
And then reinstalling a tip is easy as well. You just squeeze and press firmly like that. So it's recommended that you install the tip that works best with your ear canal. So while the AirPods design is more streamlined, more minimalistic, the Powerbeats design is really geared towards providing the perfect fit for you. And that's the really big difference between these two. So that means the power beats are going to be much better for workouts because they're going to be able to stay in your ears even when doing crazy stuff like this. I don't know what type of workout I just did right there. But the power beats are water and sweat resistant as well. Now, like the second generation AirPods, the Power Beats Pro includes the H1 wireless chip, which allows you to easily pair with an eligible iOS device with just the tap of a button. Literally, all you do is press connect and you're paired and it syncs over iCloud. So all of your eligible iOS devices will immediately have access to the Power Beats Pro, which is super nice. You can also place your Power Beats Pro charging case next to your iPhone like that and it will tell you the battery status, but you could also check battery status from the battery widget, which is just another example of how cool the iOS integration is. Now, AirPods users will notice less options in the Bluetooth settings. That's because there are no customizable touch controls on the Powerbeats Pro like there are on the AirPods. But that's because the Powerbeats Pro features built-in tactile buttons, which I think is the superior method of control. And don't forget, Hey Siri, pause. There's also hands-free Hey Siri. Hey Siri, what time is it? built right into the Powerbeats Pro thanks to that H1 chip. Hey Siri, what's the weather like today in Chicago? So this is super handy. You don't have to raise a finger to talk to Siri and it's even better with the cellular Apple Watch. With the cellular enabled Apple Watch and hands-free Hey Siri, you don't even need your iPhone with you when you work out. Pretty cool. Now I understand that sound preferences are extremely subjective and people are very, very vocal about what they like, what they don't like, etc. Beats headphones have a reputation that precedes them. Uh, obviously they're perceived as being bass heavy and that doesn't really change here with the Power Beats Pro. They are obviously more bass oriented, but I don't think it's as over the top as in times past and I think they sound really good. I think most people will be happy with these, especially if you like to listen to a lot of bass heavy music. And while a lot of this can be attributed to the driver and the acoustic housing, much of it has to do with the ear tips that create that acoustic seal. And of course the AirPods don't have ear tips. Now I have to say, I don't like ear tips in general. I don't like the sense of isolation that they give you. So that's another reason why I prefer the AirPods design. But there are so many things to like about the Powerbeats Pro, like the tactile buttons, the multi-function button, allows you to control all of your music. You can play, pause, skip to the next song, go to the previous song, rewind, fast forward, etc. invoke Siri. I do think it is a little overly sensitive and it's kind of hard to find where the button is. I think it should be a little more recessed, uh, but that's just a nitpick. And I also appreciate that there's a volume rocker right there so you can adjust the volume directly from the Powerbeats Pro. Remember, you can't do that with the AirPods. So what's my take on the Powerbeats Pro? Well, here's the thing. If you're active, if you find yourself being frustrated with the AirPods falling out of your ears, get the Powerbeats Pro because that's not going to happen with these headphones at all. They are built for workouts. They're water resistant, sweat resistant. You can tell they've been built from the ground up with active people in mind. Now that said, you're missing some things. Number one, you don't get wireless charging with the Powerbeats Pro charging case and look how much bigger it is than the AirPods charging case. The AirPods are definitely better for travel. Now here's the next thing. The Powerbeats Pro sound good. They are a little bit on the bass heavy side, but some people will really enjoy that. However, you have to keep in mind that it has that acoustic seal courtesy of that ear tip and not everyone is going to love that sense of isolation. I personally prefer the more open design of the AirPods. So just another thing to keep in mind there when it comes to considering these two pairs of wireless headphones. And then one last thing to really consider is the price and availability. The Powerbeats Pro comes in multiple colors, but only black is available right now until at least the summer. And the Powerbeats Pro costs 250 bucks, which is roughly $90 more than the entry level second generation AirPods with a wired charging case. So another thing to consider. But the bottom line is this folks, the Powerbeats Pro are amazing wireless earbuds for active people. If you find yourself being frustrated by the AirPods always falling out of your ear, then let the Power Beats Pro come to the rescue. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.